Hello, my name's Pam Mitchell. Today we're going to talk about grief and trauma. Many of us have moments in our lives that have rendered us feeling quite helpless and very unhappy. Grief and trauma can come in many different circumstances. The obvious one is when we lose a loved one. And of course, this is an incredibly hard time and one which we feel that we may never recover. And everyone says to us, time heals. Unfortunately, that's not very satisfying at the time that it's happening to us. Grief and trauma can come with the loss of a loved one. It can also be the loss of a pet, a pet that's been around us for a long time, that becomes basically a member of the family. It can also become a sense of loss from something that has happened to us in our life. So loss of our own well-being. Now that could be through an illness or it could be something that's been taken from us, a sense of powerlessness. And of course that's more associated with trauma in our lives. That could have been the result of an accident or an illness or worse, something that has happened to us over which we've had no control but has left, has left us feeling quite despairing at times. It can be something that comes out of the blue to remind us or it can sit in the back of our minds constantly. Regardless of whatever form your grief and trauma is represented for you, there are many things that we can do. Grief and trauma can be greatly helped with relaxation and meditation. Some people have regular counselling, psychological intervention, medical help in grief and trauma. All of these things are very useful and often very necessary. Alongside of that can be meditation and relaxation that can truly lift the spirit of our inner being at times when we feel that the rest of the world just doesn't understand or we don't have access to someone at a particular time when in fact we can turn to a moment to relax and to meditate for restoration, for a sense of inner peace, calmness when we're feeling like nobody cares or we don't seem to be able to calm ourselves back down again. Possibly we're shaking, feeling quite out of control, quite overwhelmed, quite panicky, quite frightened. So whether others are around us or not, the aloneness in our grief and trauma can sometimes escalate to the point where we need something to help at that time and a doctor's appointment may not be available. So through relaxation and meditation, you can go to a place, go to a space in your time, in your particular circumstance to gain some relief a sense of well-being, somewhere to nurture yourself, to be feel nourished, to feel acknowledged. So I invite you to take a tour of my website www.relaxationforhealthandwellbeing.com where you can actually access some more information on this topic of grief and trauma. You can also download a free recording on relaxation itself and you can access an mp3 recording for grief and trauma to get you started today.